Like it's the same for every soul. It could be Facebook. It could be LinkedIn, Pinterest, whatever. If we're a business owner, we're either requesting as many friends as possible on these platforms, or we're trying to maybe invite people to like our business page, right? We're trying to get a, a ton of likes on the business page, but here's the deal. When it comes to a local business owner, that's why I don't believe in posting. That's why if you're not posting over here, that's actually a good thing. Because as we start to build up this friend list, again, on any platform, the majority of these friends are going to live across the country. So as you and I become friends on Facebook, you're in Florida, I'm in California. Most likely you'll be posting your listing. Most likely you'll post that open house coming up. Most likely you'll post, hey, if anybody's looking to buy, call me. It's like, dude, I'm in California. I'm not moving to Florida. And, and so as we, we take this friend count up, the majority of the people are going to be the same thing. They're going to be, they're going to be looking at your post and be like, hey, I don't even live in that area. Why, am I, why do I care about his listing? You know what I mean? So, so as people post, the majority of the friends either don't know you, they don't live in the area, they're never moving to the area. That's why a local business owner, if you're relying on posting – your business ain't going to be around for much long if you're relying on social media marketing and just posting. That's why the very first thing I told you, 99% of your effort should be in Facebook advertising. The only reason is because it's local targeting. It's the only way I can target my local area. It's either going to be a Facebook ad that I run for literally a few dollars, or I'm going to have to spend hundreds of dollars on direct mail, or I'm going to have to take my ass outside and door knock or I'm going to have to put my face on a billboard or a bus bench, right? There's only so many things you can do in marketing offline and all that stuff is expensive. And that's just not where the attention is at anymore. Everyone and their mother is on their cell phone. Everyone and their mother is on Facebook. So, so, so that's why it has to be narrowed in our efforts into Facebook advertising, because that's the only thing for a few dollars that I can leverage to target my market. And especially with a real estate agent, chances are you're only farming a couple zip codes. Your local area where you're doing business, that's a, that's a few zip codes. So how do we target them? You know, Facebook ad. But again, here's where it starts. Here's where it starts. And this is what I call step one. As I come to your page, and, and again, man, the reason why I showed you my friend list is because this is this five-step blueprint that I ended up writing a book about in 2018 is, is not because of my previous knowledge in marketing. It's not because I was a lender and did mortgages for six years. It wasn't because I know marketing and, and, and I'm, a, I'm a super guru. No, it wasn't because of that. It was because I knew, again, in 2016, I left mortgages. I knew I wanted to start helping real estate agents. But I didn't, I didn't know exactly what to do with them. I didn't, I know, yeah, social media, I knew it was going to be a big thing, but I didn't know exactly what steps or what strategy to teach them until I started requesting thousands of them and seeing what they were all missing. That's where this five step came from. So that's why as I come to your page, I'm trying to tell you, I've seen thousands and 99% and, and, and look exactly like this. This is step one. This is the intro. So this is what I call step one. As I come to any, and it's not just real estate agents. I happen to, you know, help real estate agents for, you know, the past five years, and I've seen thousands of pages, but it, 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 it applies to any business. You could be building a landscaping business. You could be building a yoga, you know, studio. You can have a local gym. You could be a local dentist. And if I come to your page, it looks the same way. Here's what I mean by it. In the intro, everything is missing. So what, what this pertains to and what, what I'm going to cover with you is all about social media. It's all about our branding. How do we get more attention over here? How do we start capturing leads over here? That's what this is all about. But this is the basic step one. Here's what I advise you to do. In this intro, what you want to, and even if you don't use the page, even if you're not posting much, it doesn't matter. The fact is, is that the market is going to find you here prospects, clients, they're going to reach out to you here. They're not going to know your business page right away. Like they're at all. Like people are going to connect with you here first before they ever go on your business page. That's why this intro is very, very important for our branding. So here's what I, here's what I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm looking at your page and then I'm going to show you an example. I'll just show you, I can show you, I can easily show you my, my page because my page is all updated, but I'm going to show you a real estate agent. I'm going to show you a broker. Um, 
just so you can look at the difference in the in the page in the way the page looks so look i come across your page and this is what i see associate broker real t1 and then i see lives from followed okay now here's another thing as i mentioned a few minutes ago as we take this friend count up the majority of these people are not going to know us Okay, you only know the couple hundred people that you're friends with, friends from maybe back home, wherever, wherever, like you only know a couple hundred people if you're taking this number up, which I would think you would be if anyone, and if it's not Facebook, it'd be Instagram. It'd be LinkedIn where you're trying to get thousands of people to follow you. But I'm telling you, that's all a waste of time because again, the majority of them are not going to live, live in the area or the majority of them are never moving to the area ever. But this is our brand and we have to, we have to have our branding in place. That's what this is all about. So again, associate broker lives from followed. I don't know you, I'm coming across your page for the first time. I don't know you no more than I know Candy. I don't know Candy either. So I'm looking at this real estate agent. I'm looking at this broker over here. Every, there's a million real estate agents on Facebook. Who's who? No one knows anybody. We're all on social media. No one knows each other. I come across your page. That's what you're showing me in the intro. I come across Candy's page. This is what she's showing me in the intro. So what real estate agents do is the majority of them, 99% of them, They'll have a link to a business page up here in the intro, but it's their brokers. And so the, 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 the problem with that is the fact that your friends over here, they don't know the difference. They don't know that this is not your link. So they're clicking like, thinking they're supporting you when they're not. Right? So... That's number one. I come to Candy's page and right away I see a link to her business page. So she's getting all the traffic, all the attention is going straight to her page. And then again, because we're now in this social media marketing era, all I see next is Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, her website address. And if you look closely, which you don't even have to look that close, every single one of them is identical. This is basic, like this is basic branding, basic. And so in real estate and in, in any business, you have that one name that you're trying to brand, that one name. So whatever that one name is, you want to just simply update all your platforms with that one name, your Facebook business page. And even if you're not using these other platforms, this is where your clients are hanging out. If you're dealing with clients, if your demographics for buyers and sellers are anywhere above the age of 30, anywhere above the age of 25, even if you're going after, you know, younger and, and, and going after first time home buyers, they're still in their mid twenties. You know, you're not going to find too, too many that are in their, in their, in their early twenties. Majority of them are mid, mid twenties, at least minimum. And then for sure in their thirties, 30 plus. So that, that demographics are on these platforms. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Now, you don't have to be posting on all these platforms. In fact, you don't have to know when, one damn thing about them. Like, I don't even know one thing about Pinterest. I don't know anything about LinkedIn. I'm never on Twitter, but I have them listed. Over here on my personal page, if you look at the, um, the About section, actually, let me just go to the, to, the, to the beginning. If you look in my intro, right here, here's my intro. So right away, the link to my business page. And then I have all these platforms down here and every single one of them is matching. Now, I don't know much about any of these other platforms. All I know is the importance of my brand. All I know is the importance of the name that I'm bringing to the marketplace. So if I'm bringing that one name to the marketplace, I better hope no one else has that name. And that's what I see over and over and over. You may have a certain name for your, for your business page, but the moment you go and try to set it up for your for the LinkedIn, it's taken. You know, so so or or you may have the name for LinkedIn, and the moment you go and try to get the dot com, because what I'm advising you to do is get it for everything, these platforms and the dot com. But but let's say you have the name for LinkedIn, but you go and try to register the dot com and it's taken. You know what I mean? So, so if, if, if that one name is important to your brand, which I know in real estate, everyone has that one name they're trying to bring to the marketplace. You want to just make sure you lock it on every platform. Okay. That's step yeah. one. That's step one is link customization. 
basic, man, basic. And all I'm saying is that when I come over here, I don't know you, I don't know Candy. And, and Candy's actually a client of mine. But at the same time, do I really know her? Not really. Like, not really. Like, not really. And even if she wasn't a client, I have 5,000 friends over here. Do I know any of them? Not at all. Like, not at all, bro. Like, on your Instagram, if you got 7,000 people following you on Instagram, do you know any of them? Not at all. Like, maybe, yeah, your uncles and your cousins, but n not everybody else. Like, maybe maybe 10 of your clients follow you, but what about the other 7,500? Like, we don't know any of them. So all I'm saying is that when I come to your page and, and I don't know no one, I see this intro versus coming to, like, let's just say this page and I see this intro it's just the aesthetics. It's the way it looks. That one name stands out. And the fact is, and this last thing I'll say about step one, here's the facts. Just because you and I connected on Facebook, right? Let's say we become, we, we become friends here on Facebook. Just because we connect on Facebook, how do you know that I don't spend 17 hours a day on LinkedIn? You don't know that, right? So... Uh -huh. I mean, it's, it's hard to know what other people do. What's that? I said, yeah, you don't know what other people do. Yeah, exactly. All I know as a business owner is where everyone's at. That's all I know, but I don't know exactly which one. I know that they're all here. I know that much. But yeah, as I connect with, with my friend here on Facebook, maybe, maybe, maybe he spends his time on Twitter because 900 million people do. Maybe he spends his time all day on LinkedIn because 700 million people do. You know what I mean? So as a business, I just want to give you the ability to follow me on your favorite platform. And just because we connected on Facebook, that doesn't mean Facebook's your favorite. It could be any of these other ones. You know what I mean? So as you come and we connect on Facebook, maybe you want to follow me on Instagram. Okay, great. Click it. Connect with me there. And so because I'm more comfortable messaging on Instagram, for example, and I message you regarding buying and selling real estate on Instagram, you're going to be glad you got that message. All because it was listed and I noticed that you were over there. So I clicked on it, followed you there, messaged you there. You see how that kind of works? Yeah. So, so that's step one, my friend, that's step one, that's basic. And again, after looking at thousands and thousands of pages, they all look like this. And, and I'm just, I'm just convinced that this just looks a little better. That's all, you know what I mean? For your brand. So let me, let me pull up, let me pull up your business page. What's your, what's your business page? Uh, it should be on, on my page, no? Um, I don't know. Is this is that is that your link or is this your broker's link? This one. Uh, well, that's my broker. Yeah. See, so so that's what I'm saying. That's what everyone has. Everyone has their broker's page. So, yeah, I thought I thought I changed it. I never, no. Um, you probably did. You probably did, but it's not it's not showing because you and I are not friends on Facebook yet. It's so it's not it's not showing to to people who's not your friend. Maybe it shows to only your friends. You can, you can set up the settings that way. Um, maybe you have it listed. So if I click on about right here, like I have, I have this listed, actually work in education. So I have, I have this listed and it shows to the public, but I can also set it where it shows to only my friends. So, right, so if you, if you look, uh, I'm under, uh, I think Florida living 21 or something. Which I'm gonna change it because I don't like it. Florida Living 21. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. And so let me. Um. Okay, perfect. That one. Right here. Okay, perfect. So so here's a, here's the thing. So let me go back to, let me go back to um Candy's page real quick, because the same thing applies for the business page. So again, we look at the personal page. Everything is listed. There's all the links. We come to her business page. And right over here in the about section at the top, over here on the business page, we scroll down and we see everything listed as well. So Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, her email address, everything is matching. Hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, right? Everything is matching. So, so, so that is important for over here. 
So if this is the one name you're branding, get that name for everything. Okay. Get that name for everything. And I have a video I can send you uh, that shows you how to do that. You know, how to link everything. Very simple. Just log into the top five platforms and, and customize the name because, because th that's what's going on. So you have the .com for your name, but then here's what I'm talking about. This is the username. So facebook.com forward slash, that's what I'm talking about is customizing this part, the username, the forward slash instagram.com forward slash twitter.com forward slash. This is the username. Okay. So, so that's what I call step one, man, is link customization. Here's step two, here's step two. And again, this is after looking at tens of thousands of Facebook business pages of real estate agents. I'm not exaggerating. That's a real, real number. Tens of thousands. I've seen tens of thousands of pages. And I'm here to tell you 99% have anywhere from 100 to 200 likes. Now, the reason why this right here is step one, because I truly believe this right here is the first impression. When we connect and become friends with someone on the personal page and they scroll down just a bit, the intro is the first impression. Even when I come to the business page and I scroll down just a bit, the about section is the first impression. So right away, here's step two. Right away, this number is the first impression. So I come here, I see 168. I come to Candy's page, I see 3,500. Now keep in mind, you could be a 15-year veteran in the industry. Candy, three months, and she's a rookie, but I look at her page, I see that number. I look at your page, I see that number. I don't know anyone. Automatically, I'm assuming that Candy's the shit. Automatically. I'm, I'm over here discrediting you. You've been in 15 years. I don't know that. I don't know no one. I'm thinking you just started. I'm thinking you probably just got licensed. Right? So this is just perception. This is just, this is just basic branding. And, and this is just basic social media credibility. It's social media proof because people, people need to see a freaking number for, for them to believe anything. And that's why over here on my business page, like if you come to my personal page, you click on my name, you come, you come to the business page. Over here on the business page, I did the same thing because you don't know me. Like you don't know me. I could be over here talking all this shit. You don't know me. But when you come to my business page and you see that number, you automatically assume that I know something about something. For all you know, I could have just started this stuff. You don't know that, right? So you don't need 10,000 because I'm telling you right now, every real estate agent, 99% of them have what you have, a couple hundred. So if you just took it up a few thousand, you want people to land here and see 1,600. Like even your broker has 900. Like that's nothing. Like I want, I want to come here and I want to see 1,900. And so I come to Candy's, I see 3,500. And again, I'm just blown away thinking that she's been doing this forever. When I don't even know. She probably just got licensed yesterday. I don't know. I don't even know her. Right? So, so this like ad, that's the first ad you should be doing. So not leads, not thinking about buyers and sellers, not thinking about how am I going to catch my next lead. That's your next ad. 35, that, that's your next ad is a like ad. That's the next ad, okay? That's the first ad. That's the next ad. That's what you should run today is just take that number up a few thousand. And, and again, Candy, that, that's about as high as you'll see most, most agents and brokers, 3,500. You'll very rarely come across anyone. I looked at tens of thousands, bro. You'll rarely come across anyone that even has more than that. So you don't need you know that many. You just need a comma. You just need a comma. This number, 168, that needs to be 1,600. Bottom line. And that's a one-time ad. That's not an ad you run all the time. It's not an ad you're going to run every month. You're not going to spend a lot of money on that. that that's a one-time thing. That's step two, one ad, take the like count up. Here's step three. What every agent, and again, man, this is by looking at thousands, okay? I can simply come to my personal page and I can go to the news feed and just start scrolling through my news feed and seeing what everyone's posting. And I can see... All, every every post, if, if except for a group, if I'm in a group, that's a group, that's another group. But if I'm not, if it's not a group, look, Sabrina, brokers, please read. 
It's like, this is a, a broker in Florida. I'm seeing her ad or not her ad, but her post. Um, actually, those are all groups. This right here, Eve. Okay, so that she's posting something different. But but what I'm saying, yeah, these are my groups that I'm in. Um, okay, so here's here's another one. Here, here, so this right here, who needs this type of container design? So yeah, actually, I don't know what that is suggested. But what I'm what I'm what I'm saying is that this little boy, okay, so random stuff. Another another interview. Like these are these are real estate agents right here that are my friends. And they're talking about real estate and, and, and I don't even live in a state. So, so what every agent is doing, as you know, already is posting on social media, thinking that's going to get them something. Here's step three, rather than posting all damn day on all these platforms, I only told you to set up all these platforms on the, on the, on the personal, on the business page. I only told you to set all this up for your brand. And to and and to be able to, to to lock that name so no one can get it. That's your name. You want to brand that on all these platforms and lock it. That's the only reason why. But it's not to post on all these platforms at all. Because here's step three. As as everyone's posting their listings or their open houses and their friends live all across the country, no one cares. Step three is when you simply start taking these types of posts and start running Facebook ads. So, so you came to me today and scheduled this call because you're probably thinking ads, I need to capture leads. That's what I call step three. So step one was listing all the links. Step two was taking the light count up. Now we go into step three, capturing leads. But here's step three. Rather than posting all day on all these platforms when no one cares, you have to absolutely, as I mentioned a million times probably already, you have to run a Facebook ad. But it's not just a random Facebook ad. As you, as you mentioned, you did an ad before and it didn't really do anything for you. Here's, here's what was missing. As you start to run these ads, these are weekly ads. So you have to look at it as a monthly campaign. You don't have to spend a ton of money. You start small, like a couple hundred bucks a month. You don't have to start a lot, a lot at all. But the strategy is not running an ad on a listing, not running an ad on an open house, the strategy is to start running an ad and, and, and targeting one type of person. You're either going to target a buyer or you're going to target a seller. You're not going to target everyone. And that's another thing that real estate agents do. They come on a social media talking about everything related to real estate. They'll talk about foreclosures. They'll give you advice on short selling. They'll give you advice on bankruptcy and what it can mean for you not to buy a house. They'll talk about everything under the sun regarding real estate. Which is, which is cool. I mean, they're, everyone, you guys are knowledgeable. You know everything about real estate. But we're trying to attract one type of person. And so what I'm talking about is the Facebook ad. Step three, as you start to run Facebook ads, you want to target one type of person. You're either going to target a buyer or you're going to target a seller. Now, here's the strategy. The strategy is to give away a buyer guide or a seller guide. So you would start doing weekly ads promoting your free buyer guide or seller guide. Pick one. And, and that's, that's your, that becomes your bait. So as you start to do these, 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 these weekly ads, it's all about, hey, guys, and, and, and what I'd be doing if I were you, man, is I would be doing video. You can do image. You can run image ads for sure. But video, there's nothing like it. And, and I know for a fact that the only reason why you're here, why you even reached out to me, the only reason, and I say this in my YouTube videos all the time, the only reason why you reached out to me is because you saw a YouTube video. That's the only reason, video. If it wasn't a video that you saw of me, you would have never known me. You would have never felt comfortable. You would have never thought that you can believe me or trust me or like me or even want to do business with me. You would have never reached out if it wasn't for a video. So if you're not comfortable doing video just yet, I would highly recommend get comfortable. Get comfortable. No one cares. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. Pull out your cell phone and just start talking about what you're fired up about, which is real estate. But again, what you would do is talk about one topic. So the strategy, step three. It's to start doing weekly videos, 
not posting on all these damn platforms. Again, it's one weekly video for a Facebook ad. And again, let's say, for example, we're talking about selling. So let's say, for example, we're looking for list. We're looking for listings. I'm looking for sellers, right? Let's say that was my market. I'm a seller's agent. That's my business. I'm, I'm looking for listings, right? What I would do is I would start doing a weekly video targeting my local area. It's a Facebook ad. It's not a Facebook live. It's not for my personal page. None of that. It's a Facebook ad. I'm targeting my, my, my area, right? A weekly video educating people on what it takes to sell. So you would look at it as a weekly TV show, a weekly TV show. And, and now all of a sudden you're educating people on what it takes to sell real estate, what it takes to list their home, what it takes to increase the value, maybe seven tips on increasing the value before you decide to sell. You start to now come to Facebook and, and, and come to video educating people on what it takes to sell real estate. That's the video. That's a two minute video. But here's the call to action. This is step three. The call to action at the end of the video is to give away your seller guide. So at the end of the video, you would say something like, hey, guys, and by the way, I put together a 2021 seller guide that goes over the seven tips on how to increase the value of your home before deciding to sell. In this seller guide, you're going to learn this, this, and this, and I want to give it to you for free. So click learn more. It will take you straight to my web page. It will be something like this. When you click on learn more, when they click on learn more, let me show you an ad. So when you look at any ad, here's an ad right here. That's get offer. Let me see if I can find a learn more. Okay, perfect example. Perfect example. Here's a sponsored ad. There's the text. There's the video. That's a 30 second video. It could be a 30 second, it could be a one minute, it could be a two minute, it's you. It's you talking about and giving us a tip on what it takes to sell. And at the end of that video, you're, you're telling people to click learn more. It'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free seller guide. This page is what I call step four. This is a landing page. So where most real estate agents get it wrong is they'll run an ad and when I click on it, I'm going to their KV course site, or I'm going to their broker's website, or I'm going to their fancy website, whatever. But on that website, there's nowhere to capture a lead. And on that website, there's a million things to click on. So before you know it, I'm looking at some other random condo in Nebraska. Like there's so much going on on your websites. It's not even funny. You got to take me to one page. So the ad, the ad was talking about the ad was talking about a tip number one, what it takes to sell. And at the end, you told me to click learn more to come download my free seller guide. This is a landing page. I come here, I click, I enter my name and email, send me your 10 tips now. You just captured a lead. You captured someone that lives down the street that's interested in knowing what it takes to sell. So this landing page, this is what I call step four. This is how you capture a lead on, on social media. But again, Facebook ad. So they click, they come here, step four. Step five, now that I have their name and email, step five is email automation. So the moment I capture that name and email, they're now automatically in my CRM. And that email autoresponder automatically sent them that first email. Hey, Dave, thank you so much for downloading my free 2021 seller guide. Hey, man, I'm so, so, so excited for you. In this seller guide, you're going to learn what it takes to sell, the difference between hiring a real estate agent versus trying to sell it on your own for sell by owner, and all the tips and tricks that I give my clients on what it takes to sell. I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I enjoyed writing it for you. Click here to download now. And by the way, Dave, make sure you look for my future emails because I'm going to be sending you some emails that you're not going to want to miss. I'm going to be educating you over the next couple of weeks via email, via, via email on what it takes to sell. Talk to you soon. And so now that lead is in my CRM, is in my email autoresponder, which is what I call step five. Now, here's, where, here's, here's, here's all, I, all I got for you. Step five is when these emails start to go out. The first one went out right away with the link for them to download. That, that email went, right, went out right away. But tomorrow, another email is going to go out. Hey, Dave, thank you so much. Hey, man, thank you for downloading my seller guide yesterday. Hey, 
Do you remember how I told you I was going to be sending you a few emails coming up in the next couple of weeks? Well, here's, here's email number one. In email number one, I wanted to kind of go over what I wrote on page two. Page two was all about curb appeal and making sure that the landscape and the curb appeal looks nice and presentable so when you're going to sell, people like it. Here's what I meant by it. And so now all I'm doing in these next 10 emails that are already preset, ready to go out, this is step five. All I'm doing in these emails is educating them on what is in the seller guide. So let's say I have a 10-page PDF, seven-page PDF, whatever, seven tips, 10 tips, whatever. I'm teaching people what it takes to sell in this seven-page PDF, whatever. In these emails, all I'm doing is re-educating them on what's in the PDF. Email number three goes out. Hey, Dave. Hey, man, did you read page three? Remember I was talking about the importance of, of, of landscaping and, and, and curb appeal on the last email? Well, hey, take a look at this one. This is what I would put on, on step three, which is tip number three. And this is the advice I give my clients. So all I'm doing is, is just reiterating and, 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 and just going over again what that PDF consists of. But, but here's the call to action in the emails. From email number two and on, in each email – there's a call to action. In each email, I'm getting them to schedule a call. So in each email, I'm saying, hey, hey, Dave, and by the way, man, if you'd like to jump on a call, I'd love to talk to you. You know, maybe you have some, maybe you have some, some questions. Maybe you have, you know, some things on your mind regarding selling. I'd love to get you on the phone at your best time and really see if I can help you. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Hey, hey and don't forget to check tomorrow's email because you're not going to want to miss that one. So in each email, these are automated emails. These are emails that are going out while I'm sleeping. And all I'm doing is getting people to schedule a call, schedule a call, schedule a call. And so it all starts. And, and when you look at it, these are the five steps. Step one, the links. Step two, the like count. Step three, start running Facebook ads video one per week, educating your local community. Step four, give them something for free of value up front. That's the seller guide. Step four is my landing page. I need a landing page to bring them here so they can download my seller guide. The only way people are going to give you their information is if you give them something for free. That's it. They're not going to just give you, they're not going to just hit you up and, hey, yeah, let's do business. They don't even know you yet. So unless you're giving me something that I'm interested in for free, and the easiest free thing is a free PDF, a download, it doesn't cost you anything, or you could just have them download it all damn day. 50 million people could download it a day and they don't, and that doesn't cost you anything. It's a, it, you know, to make, to produce, you know, do a seller guide one time, have it one time and have the link available for a million people to download, you know? So, so step four, the landing page, and then step five, the email automation. And it's in the emails. Here's, here's where your appointments are coming from. And then, and then that's all I got for you. Here's where your appointments are coming from as they come here, because they were coming here because they saw your video and, 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 and you caught their attention. So they came here, they enter their name and email. Here's what's going on. They enter their name and email, and then they, they click on the yellow button. Send me your 10 tips. Here's where the appointments are coming from. As they come to the next page, this is you on video. Hey guys, thank you so much for downloading my 2021 seller guide. In this seller guide, you're gonna learn this, 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 and this. I just wanted to personally introduce myself and let you know how long I've been in the business or my passion or my background, my experience, and why I'm so excited to help real estate or to help, to help local homeowners sell their property. That's what I'm going over in the video. And then number three, and by the way, you guys, check your email because I just sent you over the PDF. You're going to have the link in your email to download right away. And also make sure you check for my future emails because I'm going to be educating you on what it takes to sell over the next couple of weeks. And you're not going to want to miss the, miss my emails. Now, some people are looking for answers. Now, some people are looking to sell now sooner than later. So if that's you, I'd love to talk to you. So if you click the button below, it will take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. So what I did in this 60 second video, Number one, I thank them. Number two, I introduce myself. Number three, I tell them to check their email. Number four, I told them to schedule a call. So my appointments will be coming from people that land on this thank you page thinking they were only coming to download a seller guide. 
But then they came here and saw me on video and they're like, damn, I like that guy. Let me talk to him now. Now my appointments are either going to come from here or my appointments are going to come from the email automation. Because the moment that person gives up their name and email, I'll have 25 emails set to go out every other day for the next couple months. That's where my appointments will come from on the back end. Because all I'm going to do in these emails is I'm going to keep educating them on what it takes to sell. And I'm going to have a call to action with my calendar link, getting them to schedule a call. And the calendar link is not in my email signature. It's not a calendar link in the PS of my email. No, it's a real call to action in the freaking email. Hey, hey, Dave. Hey, man, if you'd like to jump on a call, man, click the link. I'd love to talk to you. You know what I mean? It's, it's a real call to action in the actual email that I'm sending out and I'm sending out a lot of them. So, so that was a ton of information right there. I recorded the call for you so you could play it back. I'll send it to you later on tonight. But, but in your case, it all starts with step one and step two. Like, like leads will come. That's step three, step four, step five. I could teach you all that stuff, man. I could teach you all that. But, but right now, you should really start with your links. Think of that one name that you're going to bring to the marketplace and get everything listed right here. That's step one. And then step two, let's take, let's take that light count up. That light count from 168, that, that needs to go up to at least 1,600. You know, that's where I suggest you start step one, step two, get that up and going and then, and then go on to step three and start learning how to run these Facebook ads. Because where I'm at today in my business, I have been running Facebook ads for real estate agents since 2016, but today I simply just teach you how to do them yourself. So okay. if you don't learn how to do them yourself, you'll obviously have to hire someone like me to do them for you monthly. And, and a lot of us are not cheap. And so I don't want you to have to pay for somebody every month to run these ads for you because I know this stuff is simple. It may, I mean, it's easy for me to say because I know it, but I know I can teach it. And once I teach it to you, this stuff's going to be simple. Facebook ads, it's going to be simple once I teach you. So, but that's step three, step four, and step five. That's normally later on. You know, right now, I, I'd love for you to just, just do, the, do, the, do the links, do the like, do the like ad, and then, and then let's talk after that. You know, so that's where I suggest you start. Okay, so uh, yeah, I guess uh, I gotta start. Uh, first of all, I, I gotta pick uh, a few names and see if it's available on all the platforms. Yes, that's what you have to do, man. Once you once you think of that one name, then all you have to do is come over here to Facebook, and then you take out everything right here to the right, just like you did on your on your business page. And you just simply, you don't have to go into your et, your settings or edit. Just check the name first. Go to facebook.com forward slash, you know, anything. Check to see if it's even available first. Like watch this. I'll type in, I'll type in realty, whatever. I'll type in anything and see. And, and here's what it looks like when it's not available. Let's see if, if this is not available. So this is what it would look like. So when you think of that one name, come over here, type it in. And, and, if, and if it says this then it's available. And then what I would do is I would copy that, copy that, and then I would go to Instagram and I would do the same thing and do it on a computer. Do it on a computer because you're able to do it like I'm showing you right now. So I would go to Instagram. I would take out the username. I would paste in the, the one that I'm thinking of and see if it's available. And if I see this, that means it's available. I do the same thing for Twitter, the same thing for LinkedIn, right? Come to LinkedIn. Here's my customized username right here, Inspire Digital for everything. But again, in your case, I'll just simply take that part out, put in the new one that I'm thinking of and see if it's available. Once I, 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 I learn and once I see that it's available for the platforms, here's what I want to do next. What I want to do next is I want to go to GoDaddy. I'm going to go to GoDaddy.com and... I'm going to check to see if the .com is available. That's the most important is the .com, the .com. So I want to make sure that that .com is available. If somebody already has it, I would consider a different name. But if it says available, you buy that thing right away and you go customize your social media platforms. That's step one, man. That's step one. So step two, it comes down to a little budget. 
it comes down to spending a little bit for, for just to go get a few thousand likes. So it just comes down to if you're, if you have a budget right now, do we have anything to spend on a Facebook ad right now? Do I have it? Do you, do you, do, is there any budget at all to spend on a Facebook ad right now on the like ad? Uh, I don't know. Like what, like what will be the budget? I mean, anything like you could put, you could put anything, anything towards that, anything towards that, um, towards that ad. Like it doesn't have to be much, like it could be 50 bucks, could be a hundred bucks could be, or actually really what it goes by, it goes by daily budget. So five bucks a day, 10 bucks a day. And you just run it for, run it for one month, run it for the first month. And, and, and that's it. I mean, so five bucks a day, okay. if you ran it for five bucks a day, it's 150 for the month, you know, 10 bucks a day, 300, you wouldn't need more than that. Like you don't need, you don't need more than 300 for the month for this one ad. Like if you, like, for example, the, the example that I showed you candy, she, she, that's exactly what she spent. She went from about 200 likes to 3,500 where she's at now. And she spent 10 bucks a day for a month. That's it. So some spend five bucks a day. Some spend 10 bucks a day. I don't think you need to spend more than that. Again, it's a one-time ad. Run it one time, get it over with, take it up. It just comes down to if I want a thousand likes, do I want 2000 likes? Do I want to be like candy and go up 3,500 likes? It's kind of up to you, but five to 10 bucks a day would do it for you. So what do you, what do you have? What do you want to do? Oh yeah, no. Uh, so now, uh, yeah, I, I think uh, I think I'll start with like five bucks a day because I don't want to. Yeah, for sure. You could for sure do that. On let's see, where is that? To the very very bottom left, you're gonna click on settings. Perfect. And then all you're gonna do is click on page roles to the left. Page roles. Actually, if you go down a little lower, page roles. Okay, cool. And then right here, if you scroll down in the middle you'll see agencies and you'll see inspired digital. So if you scroll down a little bit more, there it is right there, inspired dig at the top. So all you're gonna do is just respond to requests and just, and just once you put in your password, then I'll have, um, I'll have access to run the ad. So what I'll do is I'll start the ad tonight and I'll email you, like I'll email you the, the, the ad once it goes approved. Once it approves, I'll email you the confirmation and I'll show you the actual ad and then, um, and then it'll run from there. And then just let me know, you know, let me know in the next week or, or whenever, let me know when you're, when you're available, I'll send you my calendar. Um, and let's just, let's, let's chat again, man, because it's all about leads, but this is, this is step one and two, let's do this first and then we'll start capturing leads. Um, so just schedule a call, you know, whenever you, you have time where we can go over that and we can start learning some, okay. some Facebook ads. It could be, I mean, shit, you could set, set up a call whenever tomorrow, the next day, next week, whatever. I really want to want to get these links up and I want to get this like count. The like ad, it doesn't have to complete. Like we don't have to complete it because that like ad, that like number is going to go up fast because it's going to start going up really fast. Like we'll have a comma in that number probably in the next few days. So we don't have to wait the whole month to talk again. We don't even have to wait two weeks. Like we could talk whenever you want. Um, okay. But I at least want to get it started. So at least that number, because the only people I care to impress when they see that number are the people in your local area. Like that's, that's all when they land there, cause you're going to start running ads, step three, local Facebook ads. And when, when you run ads, a person can click and go to your business page. So the majority of people that are going to be doing that are living in your area. So that's why the number, I want that like number to be up. So people in your area think that you're the best one out there. Right. So let's at least get the number up a little higher. And then let's, let's for sure, you know, talk again it's, 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 i mean the inventory is not it's not oh it's yeah. not there yet yeah 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 so we need some some inventory right we need some sellers okay yeah so do you have do you have some type of seller guide or or not because i have a lot of them i can i can send you some examples and we can just rebrand it to you and all that but sometimes you already have your own do you have do you have anything like that like a pdf or some type of brochure no, what what's that no, I do not have any. Okay. I, I have a bunch of examples that, that we can look at and, and we'll do that on our next call. So just, I'll send you a link to my calendar, schedule the next call and then, and then we'll go from there. And then in the meantime, this, this like ad, and this is the only ad that we target everyone on Facebook who fits the interest of home ownership. So it's a very broad ad. That's how we get thousands fast, but this is the only one that goes out to everyone. And then after that, we go into local targeting to capture leads. 
So the likes, okay, no. those aren't leads, right? They're just likes. So they can come. Of course, of course. Now, yeah. Quick question. Once, uh, I guess once we, uh, once the likes get higher and everything, uh, will I be able to stop the ad or do you have to do it? Yeah, I'll stop the ad, but I'm going off of the budget. So just let the budget run because based off that budget, we'll be at about 1500 likes. So, so the thing is the number, the magic number is 1500. So that's the magic number 1500. Once we reach that, then, the, then the, the ad is pretty much exhausted and it could be sooner than later. That's why I'd rather talk to you again sooner than later, because it's not going to take a full month. A lot of times when I, when I run the ad, it get it gets done within a couple of weeks. Like we exhaust the budget, we reach the number, the goal for the likes. And then, and then you can always come over here and remove me, like remove me from this page, because this would be the only ad that I'm running for you. After this, I'll show you how to run them all yourself from your account, right? So, so it's just it's just this first one. Then you'll remove me, and then and then I'll be it. So the magic number on this budget is fifteen hundred. Okay. Now, my the other question is, you know, um, uh, usually when when you know like when you do ads, uh, I notice that sometimes. Like, what's the best way for the optimization or, or retargeting or stuff like that? Yes, man. Good question. And, 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 and this is a huge, huge reason why most real estate agents specifically don't succeed in Facebook ads. And, and this is just not even just an agent. This is every business, every business, every small business owner, because now on YouTube, I have all kinds of different businesses finding me and reaching out to me for consulting. So I speak to a lot of different businesses now, and it's all the same. It's all the same. Where everybody misses it is the fact that they don't run ads long enough so Facebook can start collecting data for them. It's the data that you need to use to start re to retarget. So, for example, if you run one ad and, 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 and it goes to your local area and then you never run an ad again, that's the problem because you, you, you didn't allow Facebook to capture the data. And the data are people that are watching your videos or the data are those that land on your page, but don't opt in. So if I saw your ad and you're offering a seller guide or a buyer guide, like, let me share my screen really, really quick. Cause I know you got to go, but here's the last thing, whether it's a video or whether it's a seller guide or whether it's a listing, whatever, if I'm running an ad on a listing and that ad is going out on Facebook, people click on it. They come here, this is one page, get instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. This is a simple page for a listing. They come over here, let's say they don't enter their name and email. They landed on the page, but they don't enter their name and email. This is the reason why my Facebook pixel is so important. A person that lands here, but doesn't opt in, that's someone that is now going to go in what Facebook calls a custom audience. So where everyone gets it fails is the fact that they don't run ads enough, long enough to gather this data. They'll run an ad one time and that's it. So if you run an ad one time, people click on it, they come to the page. Some are going to land here and give you all their information. Some are going to land here and leave. So, so the people that landed here and left they were somewhat interested, but they just didn't fill out the information. Those are people that I need to show another ad to. And that's where everyone drops the ball. Most never run that next ad. Most never run that next ad. No, no, you're fine. I, I'm just saying most never run the next ad. So to answer your question, it's all about people that are landing on your page, but not filling out the form that's data that you use to retarget and show your next ad. Or it's people who are, land, who are watching your videos. That's why video is so powerful on Facebook because Facebook allows you to track not, not by name and phone number. They're not going to give you the lead of, or the information of that, of that person who watched your video, but they're going to collect the data of people who are watching it. So if you put out a two-minute video, if you put out a one-minute video, if you put out a 30-second video, Facebook allows you to build an audience of those who watch a percentage of it. So if I do a one minute video and I create an audience of everyone who watched it for at least 30 seconds, that's a long time. That's now my custom audience.
So now what I would do with the, with the people who watched my video and the people who landed here but didn't fill out the form, I would use that data to show my next ad. These are custom audiences. And that's where everyone gets it, drops the ball on, on advertising is because they never retarget people who engaged in their previous stuff. They only ran one ad. We got to run more. We got to run more. That's why you have to look at it as a monthly thing. We got to run a new ad every week, a new ad every week, a new video. That's why with all of social media, forget about posting. As I mentioned a million times already, no posting, set up all the platforms. So you have the link and, and the brand looks good. But all we're going to be doing is spending all of our energy on one Facebook video per week. And you're going to run an ad on it. That's it. So only one video needs to go on the business page per week. That's it. And you run an ad on it. So now we start just tracking everyone who starts to watch it. And because we're running an ad, these are people who live in our neighborhood. These are people who live on the street. Those are the people that are clicking on my page, coming here. And for whatever reason, maybe they don't fill out the form. And they come either on a listing or they come over here for the seller guide, right? But they just didn't download it for whatever reason. Those are people that I need to retarget. Now, let's say they come to the page and they actually fill out the form. They actually click the yellow button and they come to the thank you page. People that land here, these are leads. So what I'll be able to do in Facebook is create another audience and name that audience seller guide leads. So now what I would do with that audience is I would exclude them from seeing future ads because as I'm coaching you and teaching you how to do a, do a weekly video, the weekly video is talking about one topic, the topic of selling. So the people who already downloaded your seller guide last week, they don't need to see the next video ad. You need to exclude them. And so we're going to be able to tell Facebook. Well, how what's how did you do that? You create a custom audience, which is what I'm going to teach you. You create a custom audience around this link. This link is from the thank you page. There's only two pages that you ever need, man, to, to build a seven, eight, and even nine-figure business in real estate on social media with Facebook ads. Two pages, a landing page and a thank you page. That's it. So as they come to the landing page and they click the button and give you their name and email, they then come to this thank you page. And it's so important that we bring them to a thank you page because this link is going to allow us to track our metrics. When we run Facebook ads, we're going to be able to track how many people landed here. And why is that so important? Because we need to know the cost per lead. If I got 10 people to land here, what, what, what did I spend for that? Right? You want to be able to look at those metrics inside of Facebook in the ads manager. And that's what you'll be able to see. You'll be able to see how many, how many leads came in. What was the cost per lead? How much did we spend on the entire campaign? But most importantly, I now have this custom audience, people who landed on this specific link. I need to now exclude them from seeing future ads so I don't, so I don't spend more money than I need to. You know? So, so that's, that's all stuff that I teach you next, man. Um, step three, Facebook ads. Step four, the page. Step five, email automation. That's how you crush it in real estate in your local area, man. So I'm just excited that you reached out to me. I'm excited that we can at least start with step one and two. Again, you'll have my calendar link. Let's talk sooner than later. Once you start seeing that number go up, schedule the call and let's, 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 let's start capturing some leads. Okay. 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 My friend, I'll email you later on, man. Have a great day and, and just message me or email me if you need anything else and we'll go from there. Okay, sounds okay. good. Okay, buddy. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.